Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So in today's video, I am testing out a new eyeshadow palette. So I'm testing out a new palette from Wet n Wild. They have come out with quite a few new palettes recently. They've come out with some mini ones that look quite close to the e.l.f. cosmetic ones that I really like. That's their um, kind of like bite-sized eyeshadows. And then they've also come out with these two, four, six, eight, ten. I should have counted beforehand, 10 pan eyeshadow palette. So I got this from Beauty Bay. Um, I think it was about a week and a half ago or less than that maybe when um, I purchased it with my uh, Wilderness palette, which was the Beauty Bay palette. So this is the Heart and Soul, I think it's called. Yeah, Heart and Soul palette. I was actually quite surprised when these came out because Wet n Wild, I think in some places in the UK it's very difficult to find new things, especially on Beauty Bay. They tend to add few things but not many things because I think Wet n Wild tend to mostly just have exclusives in America which is pretty standard for like any brand. But yeah, when I saw this I thought I would pick it up. It's only £6.95 or something like that so I'm just going to say £7. And then the smaller ones, I think they're £5, I'm not sure. Um, they're around £4.95 and I thought, you know what, let's just spend £2 more and get this one. So let's have a look at this one. So this one, I decided to choose to be just a little bit different because you know I like to mix up the colours that I like to use on my eyes. So I thought this is great because you can do lots of different looks. You've got the kind of darker tones and then you've got some really light tones as well. Um, and obviously you can mix them together. I think the other palettes tend to be quite similar, um, but this one kind of caught my eye a bit more. Um, is there anything on the back? No, this is this. it's called Wet n Wild Color Recon, Color Recon. I don't know what that means. But um, yeah, I don't seem to have much Wet n Wild products anymore. The only things that I do have is part of my project pan, which is my highlighter, which is one of the greatest highlighters in the whole world i'm not even joking um this is so damn good i've had it for so long and it's nowhere near hitting pan it's just slowly just just holding its shape and i have a couple of lip products as well i used to like their foundation and then i realized it smelled so bad <laughs> i really hate the paint smell of foundation so i kind of got rid of it because i was like i can't deal with the smell and it would give me bad headaches um, and so maybe again I'll try it if they've reformulated it, I don't know, but a lot of people seem to love that foundation, which is fine because it is really good coverage, but the smell is so bad. <laughs> so I am just going to concentrate on the eyeshadow palette today, the rest of the look I'll do off camera just so um, we save a bit of time. None of these um, shadows actually have any names, so I won't be able to say the names I'm afraid, so I'm just going to go through just a nice standard look and then we'll see how it goes. So I feel like I'm going to be drawn towards the darker shades today. So I'm going to go towards this one on the end and then we're going to pick this up and see how it goes. So I think I saw one of these palettes on Tati's channel. Um, I didn't watch the video but I saw um, one of the palettes in um, her thumbnail which I believe said like her monthly favourite. So I was like, okay, that's pretty intriguing. I should have watched the video, but I didn't. Um, but I can only assume she was saying good things about it because obviously I don't know if it would be in her uh, favourites video if it wasn't. So on first impressions, this is pretty nice. I don't have anything on my eyelids. The only thing I have on my face was my rosacea cream. So that's nothing um, that's going to affect the eyeshadow at all. So... That's gone on quite nice. That's very, um, it looks lighter on, on camera than it does in, um, in, in real life. And let's just get it on this side as well. The only reason I um, previously said I was quite surprised about these palettes with um, Wet n Wild, just because historically they've done those mini ones where, you know, it lays out one, two, three, you know, ones like that. Um, and they've been quite decent. They haven't been like, for me, the most amazing eyeshadows. Those tend to be great, uh, like travel eyeshadows, which obviously I never traveled. I've never gone very far. Um, but they were just decent eyeshadow palettes. If I was ever going out, 
um, after work or something, I would use them because they were super tiny um, and they did like, quite a decent job to be honest. So yeah, those are quite good, but I'm actually surprised, happy, happy is the word, that they've got ones like this now because it actually looks a bit more, a bit more cute to be honest for me. So let's go on to the next one and I'm going to go in with this darker shade here now, sorry this one, just so this is going to um, help the corners just a bit. So I'm just going to take that here, oh it's quite pigmented, it's nice. I'm just going to blend that. Okay. All right, it looks better in <laughs> with me than it does on camera. I'm not sure why. And I apologize for the lighting. It's it's early, but it's a very gloomy day today. It's been um the weather in London's been very strange. Last week it was absolutely boiling, and then the past 3 days it's just been hailing it down, raining crazy and I like that <laughs> even though yesterday which was my cousin's wedding it did rain a lot which I felt bad for them um, but they had a marquee and they had everything so at least that was there to protect them from the weather so yeah I'm feeling pretty tired today but you know Sunday's the day of trivial oh yeah today is Sunday this is gonna be going up on Monday probably so yeah, it is the weekend still, so that's good. All right, so that dark shade is actually quite nice. Again, you probably can't pick it up <laughs> that much on here, but um, it's better. Like It does actually look quite pigmented with that shade, um, and it's nice to kind of darken up the edges. So let's go on to what should we do now. Um, apart from just going straight into a shimmer, I feel like maybe one of this one may, oh, what am I doing? This one may be um, to maybe just go around some of the edges, just to make it a bit more um, defined. And so I'm just gonna put that kind of here to blend it out, just so we bring it together. Okay. And so yeah, you can do so many probably different looks with this palette. I know some of the shades aren't as um, exciting, but like I said, they, there are quite a few um, other tones of eyeshadows for the same price. Um, yeah, I think Wet n Wild tend to do a decent job when it comes to kind of their makeup collections. They're coming out with um, a Safe by the Bell, which used to be one of my favourite shows when I was a kid. Um, I used to love watching that and um, UK are probably not going to get it because we never get anything that is kind of collaboration wise when it comes to Wet n Wild um, which I guess is understandable because I think they're only exclusive in certain stores so if they were obviously available kind of everywhere then they probably would be available in most places but that's sad, but it's okay. I'm more, it's all more about the novelty aspect of it. Um, and then last, I'm going to go with a shimmer now. So we have one, two, three, four shimmers. I feel like this one, which is kind of more of a copper shade in real life, it looks a bit more red tone and orange tone. So I'm going to take that just on this brush. Oh, a lot of fallout. I don't know if it was my brush just like rummaging around and I'm just gonna put that on the rest of the the lid and so it's gonna tap that on and that is quite nice it's pretty good I'm not gonna wet the brush because um may I, yeah I probably don't need to and plus I don't have anything to wet <laughs> so we're just gonna use how it works yeah that's fine but yeah I know that um, they came out with a Spongebob a collaboration <laughs> recently which everyone was kind of going insane about um which is pretty good it looks really cool i'm not a spongebob fan but um it did look pretty fun so that's cool but yeah i just hope they did come out with more things in the uk but i'm just happy that we got it in the beginning because i remember it's like with most of these brands where you're like oh i wish they came to the uk blah 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 and now obviously they're here so you've got places like Wet and Wild, Physici Physician's Formula, I can't even talk, um, 
and like Morphe and things like that. I just remember when they were not available in the UK and now they're just everywhere <laughs> in the UK, which is a good thing because especially if they're like decent makeup, then that's pretty good. So that's all I'm going to do with the eyes, to be honest. Um, it's all I can really do with this palette, but I feel like maybe in the future I will use this because it's kind of purplish, but it looks a bit red <laughs> on my camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my face, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is my finished look. Um, everything that I use, I will mention it in the description. Um, the lips are actually a Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. I have not used this in so long. It's the um, Hexcellent. I don't know, one of their kind of old school catsuit kind of liquid lipsticks. These are really nice. They tend to get a little bit, um, bit too drying sometimes, but they are pretty nice. So this is my finished look. The eyeshadow pops out so much more when I put on the rest of my face because in the beginning I was a bit like, okay, it's not maybe working as well as I probably want it to. But when you get everything done, I think it looks absolutely amazing. And that's using, what, four shades? When I do looks, I only use the bare minimum amount of eyeshadows because that's what I've just been used to do. Like, that's what I used to do when I was younger. So now I'm trying my best to kind of branch out with a couple more shades. But yeah, this is it's a really nice palette, especially for seven pounds. Um, you get 10 eyeshadows, so that's definitely less than a pound per shade. Um, and yeah, Wet n Wild tend to do really decent products. So if Beauty Bay have a, any more discount on them, I might pick up one of the small ones and see how they go. But let me know if you've picked up the item um, or any of their eyeshadow palettes, to be honest, like these recent ones, uh, because they're quite decent. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. And I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're having a very good week and I'll see you very soon. Bye.